I'm still waiting for my heroic moment. And recently, I thought it presented itself. My wife and I were at home and we were getting ready for bed. Now that statement in and of itself makes me want to blow my fucking head off, okay? <laughs> we were getting ready for bed. We turned the lights off downstairs and climbed the stairs together. We both cleaned our teeth in the bathroom. I'd put on my large T-shirt because I get sweaty at night. <laughs> We were getting ready for bed. <laughs> I turned off the main light and put on the bedside lamps and I'd opened my book to the page where I'd finished it the night before. We were nearly ready for bed. <laughs> I could tell we were nearly ready for bed because Lou, my wife, was already in bed and she was rubbing eczema cream into the cracks between her fingers. <laughs> Rub it in, you itchy little bitch. Rub it in! <laughs> Come on, Lulu. Come on, give me your hands up with those sandpapery hands. Come on! Exfoliate me, Lulu. Come on, lady! <laughs> we were getting ready for bed. Not, I picked up my young bride, wrapped her legs around my hips and strode purposely up the stairs, staring her in the eyes, and then nailed her against the wardrobe door. <laughs> Just telling her how much I love her. No, I can't do that because I've got an L45 disc issue. <laughs> and she's fucking massive, so... No, seriously, she has pulled the rippy. She's, woof, bang, God, fuck, fuck me dead. How do I get you into that wedding dress? Stand on your back and pull the laces tight? Fuck me dead. Um, 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 more of you to love. <laughs> she should pick me up and carry me to bed. <laughs> Come on, little man. I'm on little one. <laughs> Come on, little man, time go nine nine. <laughs> time go nine nine. That was her touching me on the penis too, with her, her massive gorilla fingers. <laughs> I'm exaggerating. Uh, I mean, my wife Lou is very fit uh, and healthy and she's trim. I, I don't want to describe her because, you know, as the Greek said about Aphrodite, she's perfect in every measure and beauty's in the eye of the beholder, whatever you find attractive. But Lulu is certainly not what I've just described. In fact, I think it's men, when they get comfortable with the status quo, that end up putting on a few pounds. Certainly, that's the case in my family, in my marriage. Like, you know, women have been, all been schooled in the disapproving looks of their sisters and their girlfriends and their, uh, their, their mothers and their aunties. From very early on, you know, you go for that extra piece of cheesecake, girls, and you're like, oh, you don't, don't want to do that, though. No. Moment on the lips, lifetime on the hips. Oh. You don't want to end up like Arnie Doreen. How do you fucking pen wrestle? Fucking jewel up and bingo wings, do you? <laughs> no, no, no. But men don't do that to one another. You might have an obese mate wobbling towards you with a beer in one hand and a pie in the other. You don't go, hey, 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 Dennis. <laughs> Grew up, buddy. I think your lifestyle choices are impacting on your life expectancy, mate. <laughs> no, you don't do that. You just go, <laughs> You are a fucking massive unit! <laughs> Run towards him, get airborne, bump guts, turn him around, jiggle his man titties while you're pretending to hump him. Ooh, Dennis, you big fat butt! 
like, stop it! I'm spilling my beer! And you have a beer and a pie and a heart attack or a stroke and you die prematurely happy as mates forever.